This is the photo etch that comes with the kit. Got the uh, six main screens that go over these vent holes. And then you've got three go here, here, and here. And I was going to do the one for the cockpit, but you have to uh, seal the cockpit because this overlaps the two halves of the cockpit. So I'll have to do all the lining, lighting and finish up the cockpit before I can put this piece on. So this video, we're just going to put on these, these screens right here. There is a piece for the vents that goes back here. So I need to paint this black and then I think I'm going to do a, a dry brush over top to kind of give it a few highlights here and there so you might be able to see that through the screen. So I'm going to paint this and I'll be back. I first went over the vents with this uh, Vallejo Model Air dark gray blue. And then I went over just around the edges with the Steinal Res black primer. Now I'm going to take that same uh, dark gray blue and I'm going to mix it with some of this Vallejo Mecha Color Dark Steel and I'm going to dry brush it and then I'll be back. Very light dry brush but you do kind of get that uh, black metallic feel so this will look uh, pretty good All right, liking it so far. I first went over the photo etch with some a piece of fine steel wool. Just went over to kind of rough up the surface and everything so it would take the primer. And I have primed it with that same black Steinal Res. And I did prime both sides. So now I think I'm ready to start assembling I've cut one of the screens and on these screens there is a flat spot flat spot on each side there's also a flat spot on each side where the screen goes so you can't get it in there crooked so if you get it in there and line it up with those flat spots It sits in there perfectly. What I'm using is this uh, Super T Super Glue. It's a gap filling glue. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I don't know if you can see this, but I have a little piece of uh, 0.25 fiber optic, and I'm going to use that to place the glue. So I don't need a whole lot, I just need to make sure that it's in there and it's secured. So I'll just dip this little thing in here. It'll bead on the end, and the capillary action will uh, will secure it. So I'm going to glue this up and glue the rest, and then I'll come back and show you what they look like. All the screens are in. And they, they look really good. I have the back piece in there also. And you can see through the screens. There is obviously weathering um, that has to go on. And that will come later in a later video. So now I can move on to putting in the photo etch that goes in these pieces. So I'll put that photo etch in there and then I'll come back and show you what that looks like. I'm going to get the photo etch grills in these uh, top panels here. It's kind of hard to see them, but they're in there. Alright, that takes care of the photo etch. So the next part, part 8, I'm going to start working on lighting for the cockpit. That's going to uh, take a while. It's going to involve quite a bit of work. So I want to thank you guys for watching, and thank you guys for subscribing. 
and I'll see you for part eight.